Implicit differentiation is used when we cannot write a function y in terms of x directly. Normally, we're dealing with functions that can be separated in terms of x easily. Notice that only y is on the left-hand side and that x's are on the right-hand side. However, for these equations, it is impossible for us to group all the y and x at the same time. Therefore, we differentiate it implicitly on every single term. When differentiating x, just use power rule like we always do. When we are differentiating something that has y in it, we differentiate it using power rule as well in terms of y, but the only difference is that we multiply it with dy dx after we have taken the derivative. In case you're wondering why we multiply with dy dx, you can actually think it as taking the derivative of a composite function. Notice that we can separate it into outer and inner function, and when we put g of x into f of x, we get the initial function, 2y cubed. Therefore, we can apply the chain rule. We first differentiate the whole function using power rule. Then, we multiply it by the derivative of y. You may check out the video above or in description to learn more about the chain rule. Notice that we have the derivative of y in respect to x, we can actually denote it as dy dx, or y prime. Both are the same, just with different notation, so you can write either of them. Now, let us solve for these examples. Taking the derivative on each term. We start by differentiating the first term. Notice that we have the product of x squared and y squared, so we use the product rule. Copy back the first term, x squared, and multiply it by the derivative of the second term, y squared, and we get 2y. Remember that we have to multiply with dy dx because we are differentiating a term with y. Copy back the second term, and multiply it by the derivative of the first term, we get 2x. And rearranging the expression. Now, for the second term in the equation, we use the product rule again because we have the product of 2x and y. We do the same thing here, copy back the first term and multiply it by the derivative of the second term. Then, copy back the second term and multiply it by the derivative of the first term. Lastly, differentiate 7 which is a constant, we get 0. And we are almost done. All we gonna do now is to solve for dy dx by rearranging the equation. We group the terms with dy dx together, so we bring these two terms to the other side. Factorize the left-hand side, so that we only left with one dy dx. Then, bring this to the other side. And we are done. But notice that this expression has common factors, so we can simplify it. Now, we factorize it, and cancel out the common factors. And we got our final answer. Now, let us solve for the second example. Taking the derivative on each term, and we start by differentiating the first term. Notice that we have cosine of y squared, which is a composite function, so we apply the chain rule. Differentiate the whole thing, we get negative sine y squared, and we multiply it by the derivative of the term inside the brackets. Taking the derivative of y squared, and we get 2y multiply with dy dx. Differentiate a constant, we get 0. Differentiate 3x squared, we get 6x. Lastly, differentiate y with respect to x, we get 1 multiplied by dy dx. Now, we rearrange the equation to solve for dy dx. Group the terms with dy dx together, and factorize it. Then, bring this to the other side. And we got our final answer. That's how we find the derivative using implicit differentiation. Leave a comment below to let me know if you are struggling with any part of the calculation. I spent hours making videos explaining math topics, and all I ask for in return is simply to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.